California has seen a historic series of storms in the last couple of weeks with the Golden State being inundated with rain and wind and snow over more than 14 days. That onslaught of storms brought flooding and landslides, but also some positive effects along with it. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman and I'm Nikki Lorenzo. After one more round of rain tonight, a dry pattern finally begins. Fox 40 meteorologist Adam Epstein reviews the weather whiplash and explains the results of all this rain. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not dressed for the rain right now. <laughs> An atmospheric river brings rain to Northern California on Monday, December 26, kicking off a wet week in the region. A stronger AR hits December 30th and 31st. 2.12 inches of rain falls on the 31st, setting a daily record at Sac Exec while causing flooding here and along the coast. The heavy rain also brings strong winds. 50 to 60 mile power gusts cause widespread power outages, leading to thousands of people starting the new year in the dark. Then, Mother Nature takes it up a notch when she brings us another AR this time associated with a bomb cyclone on January 4th. She described it as this this long rumble like thunder that kept kept going. It produced heavy rain, damaging winds and heavy mountain snow. The AR storm train continues on the 7th through the 9th. Gusts near 50 miles per hour uproots massive trees and takes sections of sidewalks with them. Houses are hit and cars are crushed. Discovery Park becomes Discovery Water Park as the Sacramento River at I Street reaches its highest level in years. I've been here in Sacramento uh, almost 40 years. I never see the river this high. Amidst the rain and flooding, an EF1 tornado touches down in Calaveras County at about 4 a.m. on January 10th. But it just amazed that it, it didn't get the homes. Three more storms bring heavy rain and gusty winds from January 13th to 16th. The result of this? Drought conditions have significantly improved across the state. In one month, we went from 36 to 0% of the state in extreme drought conditions. There has been a dramatic rise in reservoir water levels. The state's largest reservoirs, Shasta and Oroville, climbed from about 30 to over 50% of total capacity. There's been so much rain that Folsom Lake has had to release water to be kept at its historical average. Statewide snowpack is about 250% of normal for the state. This will further help alleviate the drought and fill our reservoirs once spring rolls around and the snow begins to melt. And that was Fox 40 morning meteorologist Adam Epstein with that story. Adam also saying all three regions of the Sierra have already exceeded 100% of the April 1st snowpack average. So he says that means that if we don't see another snowflake for the rest of the winter, the snowpack will still be more than usual. Warm storms that bring uh, rain could change that. But as of right now, we are in great shape.